welcome to Find Your Flow with Daryl Trimmer. I'm Daryl Trimmer. Uh, I've been practicing for about 12 years. My main practice of yoga is vinyasa yoga, which I also teach as well. Uh, we're, today is going to be more of a twist-oriented, twist-focused practice. So a couple ways that we can set up. Number one, sitting on the heels, sitting on a block on the heels, or sitting on a block in between the heels, just depending on how those legs are feeling for you today. All right, so once we get set up here, we'll take the hands just to the front of the thighs. Sit up nice and tall, right? That balloon's attached to the top of the head. You're going to push the skin towards the knees, round the spine. And okay, now you're going to pull the heels in towards the hip. And right? of course, those, hand, those legs are holding everything in place. We'll arch the back, press the chest through the shoulders. And we'll continue that exact same thing. Press the skin towards the knees and then pull the skin in towards the hips as you find that extension through the spine. And we'll just continue doing the exact same thing here. And as always in our yoga practice, we find the movements that work for us and we don't worry about how they look, but we just worry about the feelings and sensations that we're trying to get out of everything. And we'll go for one more round, just getting that spine a little bit of freedom here. And once we take those shoulders up and over the hips, we're going to bring the arms behind us, interlace the fingers behind the back and push the knuckles towards the floor. Imagine that upper back is an elevator door and you're trying to close that elevator door off. Take the left hand or the back of the left hand to the right hip. Push the knuckles forward. Think about that right elbow hugging in behind you. And just another breath here. We're going to bring the arms back again. Push the knuckles towards the floor. Close off that elevator door. And now take the back of that right hand to the outside of the left hip. Again, left elbow hugs in. Push the knuckles forward. Again, send those knuckles back down towards the floor. Close off that elevator door. And we'll relax the arms here. You can bring those arms out to the sides. We'll get a little bit more into some twisty things. Take the left arm to the outside of the right leg. Doesn't even have to touch. And we'll just give a little bit of a swing from left to right. And still Imagine that balloon is attached to the top of the head, trying to float you up into the clouds. And just another round here. So next time that we're over to the right, right hand can rest just behind the hips, left hand to the outside of that left leg, breastbones up and we'll hold the twist a little bit longer here. All right, we opened up the shoulders just before. Just think about that right shoulder pressing back behind and then pulling down the spine. And we'll come into the center. And again, as we change, left hand just behind the hip, right hand to the outside of that left leg. Balloon floats you up. And that left shoulder presses back and down. And come back into the center. And we'll find our tabletop. And come into all fours, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we'll round the spine. I want you to pull the belly in. And we're going to send the hips off to the right a little bit here. As those hips dip back towards your heels, we'll start to find a little bit more of an arch. So as you start to lean off to the left, Find that extension through the spine, lift the breastbone up. And as we start to shift the hips over to the right, we'll round the spine. You can even shift those hips back towards the heels a little bit. And again, find that extension through the spine. Think about the breastbone lifting up, squeeze the spine together. And again, just continue with that little wave here.
And we'll change direction, go the other way. And don't worry if you don't quite have that coordination down. Again, just focus on the feeling of the movement. And we'll come back into the center whenever you're finished there. And tuck the toes. We're going to send the hips back towards your heels. Press the fingertips towards the top of the mat. Again, like you're trying to just lengthen your mat here, tear that mat in half. And we'll shift our hips up towards the ceiling and finding ourselves in a downward facing dog. And we're going to get a little bit of movement here. So you can bend one knee, shift the hips off to one side, bend the other, shift the hips. And as we hold everything steady in the center, just another breath or two here. We will step one foot to the top of the mat, step the other foot to the top of the mat. We're going to bring those feet about hip distance apart, maybe even a wide hip distance. Take the hands onto the shins, come halfway up and fold forward. And then coming all the way up, push the floor away with the feet, reach up, look up if it feels good. Again, bringing those arms next to the sides. Again, send the arms up. Fold forward, hinge at the waist. You'd come into a half lift here. Shoulders the height of the hips. You will take the hands down, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Take the knee to the floor. As we sweep the arms up here, shorten up the mat, squeezing those inner legs together. Take the right hand down to the floor, reach the left arm up. And just take a little pause here. Push that right hand down, screw the hand into the floor like you're trying to close the lid of a jar. And bring the left hand down to the floor. We'll step back into a plank. Bring the knees to the floor, lean forward a bit, hug the elbows into your sides, lower all the way down. Again, hug that beach ball with the elbows. Pull yourself forward here, finding a nice light cobra. Push back into your downward facing dog. And step the right foot between the hands. Again, take that left knee down to the floor. Sweep the arms into the sky. Now we'll take both hands down. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Again, feet about hip distance apart. Lift halfway up and fold forward. And come all the way up. Push the floor away with the feet. Reach up. Look up if it feels good. And again, hands next to the sides. And arms sweep up. And fold forward. Hinge at the waist. Come back into your half lift. As your hands come down, step the left foot to the back, knee to the floor. Again, as we sweep the arms into the sky, nice strong foundation through the legs. Left hand comes down. Screw the left hand into the floor, reach the right arm up. And imagine you're trying to open up that lid of the jar with the left hand. Take the right hand down and step the right foot to the back of the mat. Right foot joins the left, knees to the floor, lean it forward a bit, lower yourself down. Find that cobra, hug the beach ball with the elbows. Shift back into your downward facing dog. And step the left foot between the hands, take the right knee down, and as those arms come up, Take the hands down to the floor. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Again, feet about hip distance apart. Come halfway up. Fold forward. Good. Coming all the way up. Arms reach up. Push the floor away with the feet. Again, bringing those arms next to the sides. Again, arms towards the sky. 
fold forward, hinge at the waist. Good. We're going to lift up a little bit here, walk the hands out, and you can have those hands underneath the shoulders, knees bent if you need. Of course, if you've got your blocks or a book or a cat, you can always place your hands on top. Find that length here. Think about that butt trying to lift up, push back behind. And bend the right knee. As you bend that right knee, start to send that left hip back a little bit here. Take the right hand just underneath your nose, so you can bring the block with you if you have it. Once you've got that, you're going to take that left thumb just to the inside of that left hip. You're going to press it back a little bit, open up the front of that left shoulder. And if you want from here, you can always send that left arm up towards the sky. Continuing to create that length through the spine, pulling forward. Again, take the left hand down onto your block or onto the floor. Shift the right hand back, straighten the legs here. Refine that length if you lost it at any point during that movement. Bend the left knee deeply. Start to kick that right hip back a little bit. Take the left hand underneath your nose. And again, if you got that block, bring it with you. Push the left hand down. Again, that right thumb comes just to the inside of the right hip. Press it back. Open up the shoulder towards the side. Again, if you're feeling it here, right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Again, bringing that right hand down, both legs are straight, reset those hands underneath the shoulder, continue to pull forward, a little bend in the knees if you need, legs can be straight. And set the blocks off to the side and fold forward. Good, come back into that half lift. Take the hands down, good, we're going to step back into a plank. Again, bring the knees down to the floor, lean forward, lower yourself to the mat, hug your beach ball with the elbows, pull yourself forward. Again, shift back into your downward facing dog. And take the right foot, step the right foot between the hands. And come onto your fingertips here. So I want you to create a nice little tent with the palm of the hand, that back left knees lift up nice and tall. And like always, if you need blocks, place them underneath the hands. Imagine there's one line, crown of the head, shoulders, hips down to that back left heel. I'm gonna try to keep everything exactly as it is. Take the right hand just on top of the right thigh, push, Find a little bit of a twist here. You're going to lift the left hand up, take the left elbow to the outside of the left knee, and then bring the hands into prayer. You might even think about creating a little bit of a seal here on the outside of that right leg. Push the elbow and knee against one another. If it's too much with the back knee up, you can always take that left knee down to the floor. And you always have options. We'd come into the center, take the hands back down onto your blocks or onto the floor, find that length here, continue to pull forward. Just taking that pause. Again, blocks off to the side if you've got them. Step the right foot back. As you set up in that plank, knees to the floor, lean forward a bit, hug the arms in, keep squeezing onto that beach ball on your back, Pull yourself forward, and we'll shift back into a downward facing dog. As we change sides, take the left foot, step it between the hands. Again, as that back knees up, options, fingertips, creating that tent with the palm of the hands, or hands resting on your blocks. Create your length here. Think floating up and away from the floor. Again, that one line. Top of the head, shoulders, hips to that back right heel. Just getting into that setup, 
left hand to the top of the left leg, press it, find your twist first. Slowly lift the right hand off of the floor or block. Take the right arm to the outside of that left knee. Again, it doesn't have to go down very far. You can notice it's just to the top here. Take the hands into prayer. Give yourself a little bit of a leverage. You can push the elbow and knee against one another. And again, leg becomes tired. Take the right knee down to the floor. Come back into the center. Take the hands to the block or onto the mat. Continue to find your length here through your spine, pulling yourself forward. Again, move everything off to the side. Take the hands down, step back into your plank. If you want to skip that lowering down to the floor, we can meet in a downward facing dog. Lower the knees, if you're joining us. Lower down to the mat. Hug the elbows in. Squeeze your beach ball. Breastbone going forward. Shift back into a downward facing dog. Good. Again, stepping that right foot between the hands. And come onto your fingertips first or onto your blocks. That's why they're there. Pull forward, create some length. Spin the left heel down to the floor. And you can think heel and heel in line, heel to inner arch, doesn't really matter. You find what works for you. Right arm on top of the right leg. Take the left hand onto your hip. You're going to open everything up to the side. Take the left hand just to the front of the shoulder and we're going to give ourselves a little bit of support here. Open up the shoulder, use the right arm, push down into the right leg so you can see that we're creating some length through the side. Send the left arm up and overhead, think bicep to the outside of the ears. As always, it doesn't really matter where you're looking, you can look underneath the armpit, you can look up towards the sky. Gonna take the left hand down to the floor, take the right hand down to the floor, lift the back heel, back into that runner's lunge here, pull forward. And you can set those blocks off to the side if you've got them. Step back into your plank. Lower to the floor if you'd like, knees drop if it feels good. Elbows hug in, pull forward, and shift back into your downward facing dog. It's stepping the left foot between the hands. Again, set up in that runner's lunge. Create your line. Pull forward. And left arm comes on top of the left leg. As you rest the forearm there, push into it. Spin the right heel down. Take your right hand, shift it to the right hip. As you open up the hip, when it stops, it stops. So you can bring that right hand to the front of the shoulder. As you open up that shoulder, when it stops, it stops. Take the right arm up, palm faces back behind you, bicep to the outside of the ear. Instead of dropping into the shoulder, we push down through that left leg. Really finding that pillar of support with whatever's in contact with the floor. I'm going to take the right hand back down to the floor or block, lift the le right heel up, left hand down, back to that runner's lunge. And placing the blocks off to the side, step back into your plank, knees to the floor if you need, lower yourself down, hug your beach ball, pull yourself forward. Lower all the way down to the floor. Now we're going to work a little bit on the shoulders. Take the right hand, just underneath the forehead, palm facing down. You're going to take the left hand just on top of the right. All right, so as we stay here, you're going to have those elbows out at about 45 degrees. All you're going to do is lift the left hand up. Take the left hand out. Just think thumb just in front of the pinky finger. All right, press the left shoulder down towards the floor. Take the right hand next to your chest or next to the body. 
Lift the right foot, lift the knee. Send the right foot down behind you. We're trying to get a little bit of sensation or stretch through the front of that left shoulder. And you can even push that left arm down into the floor. You can push the right hand down into the floor. As we get that stretch, maybe a little bit of a twist through the spine. I'm going to send everything back down. And as you reset here, you're going to take the left hand, slide it in, palm down, hand underneath the nose, right hand just on top. Again, we want those arms at about 45 degrees or so. Now you're going to lift the right hand, send the thumb pretty much right about there, pinky and thumb come more or less attached. And take the left hand just next to the chest. And think about that shoulder trying to press down a little bit on that right shoulder, lift the left foot, lift the knee, send the left foot down behind you. And we can start to give a little bit of a push into the earth with both of those hands that are in contact with the floor. And coming back, as we reset here, and we can just take a little bit of a rest. Take the forehead, place it to the back of one of the hands. And we'll lift the head. And you can use that left hand, just press off onto your side. And you can let that head rest on the right hand. And reach behind, bend the left foot, or bend the left knee, excuse me. As you bend that left knee, send the heel in towards the hip. Pull the heel in, send the knee back. Try not to have the knee lifting up. We want knee, hip, shoulder, more or less in one line. And if you want, you can even start to give yourself a little bit of a kick. Press the foot into the hand. And as you release, again, we'll go to the other side. You can shift onto the left side. Take the left hand, cup the ear, and bend the right knee. Reach behind with the right hand. Pull the heel in towards the hip. Send the knee back a little bit. Again, knee is down. And think about creating a stretch right through the front of the leg. And then once you've got it there, maybe we start to build some strength in that area as well. Give yourself a little bit of a kick. Push the foot into the hand. And release the foot. And we'll come and lie back down. Just for a moment, again, you can use the hands as a pillow here. I'd bend both knees, take your big toes, glue them together. Reach the left arm back, hold on to the ankle on the outside, reach the right hand back, hold on to the ankle on the outside. If you're not able to grab onto your feet, this will work here. You can interlace the fingers, keep everything exactly as it is. If you're holding onto the feet, you're gonna give yourself a little bit of a kick, push into the hands, and try to find a little bit of space here in your bow pose. And remember, if you're not able to hold onto the feet, you can think about just lifting up the chest here, pushing the knuckles back towards the feet. Lift those feet towards the sky. Both options work. And then slowly lower yourself down. And then take a little bit of a rest. Flip over like a pancake, you're gonna lie down on your back. And take the feet 
off of the mat but onto the floor. Whatever you'd like to do with the arms, you can have them rest here, you can have them cactus out to the side. We're gonna send the knees down to one side, doesn't really matter which side you go first. And like little windshield wipers here, just bringing those knees from side to side. And next time the knees are down to the right, we'll hold it there. Think about that left knee just down to the center of your mat, right knee off to the side. If everything's working here, stay here. If you want a little bit more, you can take the right ankle to the outside of the left leg, just kind of pin the knee towards the floor. If it bothers the leg, the knee in any way, just take that right foot back down to the floor. Now you can release the foot, send the foot back down if it's not already there. Lift the knees, shift them over to the other side. Same options here. Left foot stays down, left foot to the outside of the right leg, just around the knee. Pin it if it feels good. If it bothers you, again, just keep that foot on the floor. Again, take the foot off if it's already there. Bring the legs back. Straighten the legs out on the mat. And close the eyes. Again, take about five, ten minutes here, just finding your space, being within your own self. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Daryl Trimmer with Find Your Flow. Have a great rest of your day.